Let's talk a bit about where I was at before I became a bear. At first, I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, Oh, the company's been trying to push this for forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out all the details, it turned out, it wasn't a tiger prawn like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. It's totally tiny. I would have been I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I don't want to be one myself. Plus someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally stared started laughing at me. She was like, "You think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget?" So ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. Actually, no we don't, we can just go to bed. It's too early for this. There's Hina. Oh, who's there? Hero, how you doing, buddy? Oh, Makoto. Huh? Why do you sound so surprised? Sorry about that. It's just, if you'd gotten here even a minute earlier, it would have cost me a few more minutes off my life. Why? Because Kyoko, like, just, just left. Kyoko. You know, Makoto, when a guy and a girl go at it, it shortens the lives of the people who have to watch it happen, too. And since it's me saying it, you know it's true. So, like, hurry up and make it better. Anyway, see you at breakfast. That's easy for him to say, but what am I supposed to do? I can't be nice to her, she's a bitch. Good she's not around to hear me say that. Sup, Biakia, how you doing? What do you want? Okay, I'll go away. Um, well, the breakfast meeting. You honestly expect me to go. Right. Oh, as long as I'm here, I should ask Biakia what he made of the stuff Alter Ego told us. Actually, no, I better not. The surveillance camera would catch us for sure. None. So? Oh, um, well... <sighs> He's gone. Biakia-senpai, will you ever notice me? Good morning, Hina. Morning! <laughs> Hey, so, yesterday, you were kind of cool. Huh? What do you mean? You know when you said Alter Ego was your friend? I was thinking the same thing. But when stuff like that happens, I never know how to say what I'm thinking. So I'm really glad you said it for me. So thanks. You're welcome. You're usually, like, totally normal, but when the time comes, BAM, you burst out your special power. I mean, even before yesterday, when stuff comes up, it's like, you always do something about it. Oh god, she's getting <laughs> hot and flustered, ain't she? Even before yesterday? Are you talking about the class trials and stuff? I mean, that stuff is just... It kind of... It just kind of took care of itself, you know? Mom. It totally didn't. With your power and Sakura's and everyone else, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Yeah, I think you're right. I am right. All right. Now we've got fighting spirit. Let's go eat some... Get, get some grub. Words are hard. She's right, even if the road is long, if we don't keep on moving forward, we'll never reach our goal. I don't think there was anyone else. I could look around here. Do that real quick. I mean, it'll only take like a minute. I gotta find Kyoko. She's probably already, yeah, she's already in the thing, isn't she? She's probably in the sauna talking to Alter Ego. Ah, and she's not even here. T Toko took her place, of course. Okay, well, that's a kind of a step down. No offense, Toko. As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. What are you staring at? Oh, Toko. What? You think your eyes will rot just by looking at me? 
Fine, then don't look at me. I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting is all. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us. Yeah, what made you change your mind? Yakuya said he likes girls to have some meat on her bones, so... I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I drop. I refuse to lose. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later. After you leave. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. President of Dirty Dirtlandia. You don't understand. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three times at a time. Three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. Just shut up already, Hina. You've been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Filthy? Me? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm not filthy. It's no use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Shut up. You and that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you go out for your illicit club meetings. Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. Your m midnight sex curricular activities only put y us in even more danger. Stop it. If you'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big fat chalk tight. <laughs> I need a moment. Jesus Christ, her face. Going for all that extra credit. Your screams are like the screech of a violated black blackboard. <laughs> and, and, it's amazing. Indecent ideas are coming to me one after another. So would you rather have your black eye on the left or the right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's leave Toko alone. She's gone a little funny from all her pent-up frustration. Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, of course, I want things to get better as soon as possible, but with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk, about, talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Alright, let's talk to Sakura about it. Um, Sakura? Mm -hmm. What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. <laughs> Now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makoto's trying to win Sakura's heart. Are you in heat, Makoto? Don't care who they are as long as they've got the right equipment. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia. Why is this happening to me? Can our Tark wait until tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? No, nothing serious. I've just had some minor aches and pains. Is that... It must be because of that battle. But it must be pretty bad if you have to go to rest. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. You guys, like, worship protein. It's like your god or something. Makoto, I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, guy, got it. Sorry. Well, for now, let's eat. Eat? I'm kind of nervous. Huh? How come? Because I don't usually eat in front of other people. Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat by myself. What about your family? Oh, well, yeah, I used to live with my dad and my mom and my mom. You had two moms? What? That's just how things were. That's like a serious issue. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How dare you speak to me with that disgusting mouth of yours. Stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. Pretty miserable situation, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's good that Hero's a, a bro character. 
I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. Oh, I'll have to wait until tomorrow to confront Soccer about what I saw. But in a way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Soccer and accuse her of something. So I'm pretty sure there's no, uh... You can still hang out with Kyoko, I'm pretty sure. During free time, so... And it's like nothing ever happened. Oh god, I thought there were people behind me. I was trying to dance, people. God. Alright, what we got on the map? Is nobody on the first floor, really? Oh yeah, we got one. Who we got? Who we got? Oh, we got Sakura. Eh, she's feeling kind of under the weather, ain't she? Nobody there. Nobody there. Nobody there. Jeez, everyone's gone. Oh, there we go. Of course it would be all on the fourth floor. Well... Oh. Alright, I think I've got some stuff that I can use. Just gotta find her now. She can go into the music hall. There she is. Oh. Nope, I guess she... Oh, I was wrong. I just wasted a ton of time. Well. Did you need something, Makoto? Better not be my life. Don't kill me. After life, protect me. Makoto, kill someone if you must, but don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well then, why don't we have a heated discussion about cosmo cosmogony? The hell's cosmogony? Learned all about heroes' theories on the origin of the universe. Here and I grew a little closer today. Yes, I would. I should have a thingy. Shouldn't I? Something he would like, right? That would be... Oh yeah, there we go. Should work, yeah. Whoa, I've always wanted one of these. My god, my Buddha, my Makoto, I'll never forget what you've done for me. I get the impression that he liked it. That's good. Hey Makoto, what's up? My brother and fellow mother lover. Okay, yes. Let's raise our semi-siblings upright, okay? Stop talking about that. So, you ready for the next round? Never! Actually, how do you do your fortune telling anyway? I saw you doing palm readings and stuff and you didn't use any tools or anything. Mm. Wow, I didn't know you were you knew about div divination tools. Sounds like you know your way around the spirit world. I'm not sure you need to know that much to know about those kind of tools. Ooh. Now that you know you're an expert. Now that I know you're an expert, I have a question for you. A correct answer gets you another discount. No thanks. There are 22 cards known as the Major Arcana, and 56 known cards known as the Minor Arcana. Generally, the cards from the Major Arcana are used for divination. You know what I'm you do know what I'm- do you know what I'm- Yes, I know what you're talking about. The Major and Minor Arcana, and the Major Arcana cards are used to tell the future. That must be Tarot. I'm very familiar with Persona. Oh, I know, you're talking about Tarot cards. <laughs> Ah, gloriously correct. I will now tell your future for a measly 600 bones. Well, really? It's something I'd never say. I've had enough fortune telling for one lifetime. Hey. I see. Well, if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Sure thing. Anyway, getting back to what I asked you about before. If you don't use any tools or whatever, how do you do your fortune telling? Well, don't be fooled, I have my own techniques. Well, he did have his crystal, crystal ball that shattered because of Leon. For example, I employ numerology. Numerology. Ooh. It uses a mathematical formula to predict the future based on birth dates, letter, letter numbering, and all that. But I didn't see using any... doing any anything like that either. Mm. Well, it's more of an inspirational style of fortune telling. 
Some kind of unknown power just acts through you, and suddenly, bam, you've got the info. You're talking about intuition. Don't try and describe it using such cheesy words. But if it's not intuition, then it's got to be some kind of supernatural power. Don't compare my clairvoyance to some occult bullcrap. I hate the occult. Take that crap somewhere else. You hate the occult? Yep, now there's some good news. Act now and I'll throw in an extra bonus on your reading. I used white magic to record a CD of spirit messages I received from the luxury suite of heaven. Five seconds of this baby and you'll be witnessing miracles and communing with angels for days. And you said you hate the occult. Hey, business is business. The more I talk to him, the less I understand. Good work. I shook off Hero's sales pitch and headed back to my room for a little while. I'll check with Kyoko one more time. And then I'll head... I'll probably hang out with Toko. Because why not? Toko needs some love. I haven't hung out with Toko at, at all. Oh, she's Jack right now. That's fine too, I guess. Right? Alright. Oh, wait, everybody's around here, ain't they? She's in the dressing room. That's the laundry room. Stop talking to Alter Ego. He's useless. Okay. <laughs> I'll just annoy the hell out of her until she says yes. That's how it works, right? What's up? You want to go on a murder spree with me? Is it really a good idea to hang out with Genocide Jack? I want to kill you or something? You're not even close to getting me heated up. The time I spent with the murderous fiend was almost valuable. Can I just get a little closer to Genocide Jack? Yes, definitely. I don't know. What do I give her? I think it should be in the bees, right? So never give her scissors at all, ever. She will she will hate them. The burning passion. She uh, apparently likes rations, so yeah. What the? You sure? I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Does that mean she liked it? Oh, I guess that was a waste. I must have messed up somewhere. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I did mess up. Oh, that was Junko. I'm sorry. Oh, I should have given her the curry I had. Did I have curry? I don't think I had curry. Oh, well. He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. And he sounded pretty serious about it, too. Well, let's all go to the lobby. No, oh, Jim. What is with this tense music? It's not even that tense right now. We just gotta go to the gym. The gym's a lovely place. And a lovely person. Hi, Sakura. Your last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you gonna go in? Sorry. I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together, after all. Sakura. Deal. Makoto. If something happens to me, Hina. Huh? Sumanai. Oh, never mind. Nada. I'm... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Sakura. Are you being weird again? God damn it. 
Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all gathered at the gym, it began. Okay, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? You got us all together to present another motive, right? Is he right? We have to go through this again? No, not again. I can't take it anymore. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the total pole of life you really are. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's not it at all. We're not talking. We're not here to talk about motive. The reason I gathered you all here is so that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you were talking about. Well, Biakia, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Yeah, so what about it? Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? So guess what? The spy is actually Sakura Ogami. He said it so openly, it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. W what did you just say? He said the spy is Sakura. What are you talking about? There's, there's no way Sakura is a spy. Right, Sakura? Sakura? And I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen that, that to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Roaster, boiler, killer, don't kill her. Whatever. Either way, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally understood what he was, what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Um, so, what does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? There's no way. But that is what the stuffed animal said, right? Well, he's wrong. There's just no way. Well, Sakura. If he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. What? Then it was being serious for serious? Ogre's been working for the Mastermind? I'm sorry. So you've been lying to us this whole time. That's not true. Sakura's probably being controlled. There's gotta be some... some reason. She didn't have a choice, she was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. What? You're talking like you know that for a fact. Because I do know for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the mastermind. You saw all that? The Mastered Mind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the, ma to betray the Master Mind. None. Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who, c who we can trust without question, is that it? <laughs> Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Adios. She was the Master Mind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Adios. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. <laughs> How can we even be sure she really did betray the Mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's still doing exactly what the Mastermind wants. Sakura would never do that. <laughs> okay then, Sakura. If you really have cut ties with the Mastermind, tell us who they really are. <laughs> well, sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. None. You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. She's telling the truth, you have to believe her. Shut up. I'm not finished questioning her. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the Mastermind order you to do? I was told to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. 
The weight of those words. I see. So even now you've been t you've taken aim on our lives. You're wrong, I'm telling you. Sakura would never do that. You don't have to yell. We can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? It's because you're not listening to me. Please stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. I have to take full responsibility for this. How do you intend to do that? By destroying the mastermind. What? I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Hold on. What do you mean if you both go down? Nina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. What? I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. Sakura. I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... <laughs> well, it's night time. We should all go to bed. Hold on. This whole thing with Sakura is... Over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. No, Sakura is not our enemy. Why? Why doesn't any anyone understand her? What is it you think... You think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. That's... Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. But... Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Byakia said Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy, she's my friend, without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? 